So I'm out here in beautiful Santa Cruz, California and believe it or not, this place is actually just five minutes away from where I live. I don't actually come here that often, which is a shame. But I definitely want to do this and I definitely will be filming more videos from here. But today I want to talk about NEAT, which stands for Non-Exercise Activity Thermogenesis and why this is important and why it matters to you. Now, when it comes to your metabolic rate, it's got a few components in it. It's got your BMR, which stands for your basal metabolic rate. It also includes things like your thermic effect of food. But one of the biggest things that influences your metabolic rate is actually NEAT which is all the activities that you do that are not exercise. Now we go to the gym and we want to burn all these calories, right? But the gym only accounts for a few of the calories that we burn throughout the day, maybe a couple hundred calories, even if you work out very hard. So the biggest change that, hap that happens and also the biggest change between person to person is actually in how many calories they burn off without exercising. And you may have noticed that people who are naturally skinny you know those guys that just can't do, just can't seem to gain any weight or no matter what they do right they're always skinny and we all hate those people right but um, you may have noticed <laughs> you may have noticed that those people actually they're very fidgety they move around a lot and they just can't seem to seem to sit still no matter what so because this is fidgeting is also a form of need now what happens is when we start dieting, uh, and in case you don't know my story, I've lost over 125 pounds myself, and uh, I've been through a lot of these things that I'm talking about. So when you start dieting, you, you, you may have found that you actually become very lazy. You find that you move around less. Instead of standing, you find yourself sitting more and more. Instead of sitting, you feel like lying down all the time. And this is very natural because your body doesn't really want to lose weight. Your body is it's kind of fighting back uh, for you to just maintain that weight, right? It's called maintaining of homeostasis. So your body doesn't really want to change that much. So when you cut, cut out your food intake and you cut out your calories, your caloric intake, then your body fights back by reducing your caloric output. And most of the activities that you do outside the gym, you're gonna find that you do less and less. And if you want to try this, you, what you can do is you can just use a step tracker like a Fitbit or just your phone, you know, you, you can find out how many steps you take in an entire day and you'll find that your activity actually goes down over time. So what can you do to combat this? Well, to combat this, you're going to have to be more conscious about your activity levels and see where you're actually becoming more and more lazy and see how you can combat this. So here are five ways you can use to increase your need. The first way is actually to take breaks throughout the day. And if you're a busy person like me, then you definitely want to take a break at least every couple of hours. Just go out there and walk like I'm doing right now, because this is not really considered as exercise. But uh, what you can do is if you've been on Instagram, you may have seen people posting the hashtag 10 minute walks. That's also something you can do or try. So this is what I do. Every couple of hours, I get up from my desk and I go for a, ten, a five to 10 minute walk. I, this may not seem like a lot to you, but if you do this like four or five times a day, that's like 40 to 50 minutes of walking, which can easily may help you burn like at least a couple hundred calories in a day. So that's something you definitely want to do. The second way of increasing your need is to actually use a stand-up desk. I've used a stand-up desk for the last three years or so. And this is great, not just for your physical activity, but also your posture. And because sitting for a really long time is really not good for you. So what you can do is, if you have a stand-up desk, then you're gonna find that you tend to move around quite a bit. And standing by itself burns a lot more calories than just sitting around. But when you're standing, you're also you know, moving around, you're moving your feet and you aren't staying in one position. And this can help you burn maybe a hundred or so extra calories per day. The third way of increasing your need is to actually do physical activities that you enjoy that are not exercise. 
and for you this could be anything like dancing if you enjoy that if you like shopping then go out to, to actually go out to the mall or the shopping center to buy stuff instead of ordering stuff at home any physical activity you may even enjoy hiking um, going out in public like I'm doing so this is not really exercise but still it's burning a lot of calories and it's keeping your physical activity high the fourth way is to do activities that might be a little bit inconvenient or you might have to go out of your way to do but they will help you increase your physical activity like taking the stairs instead of taking the elevator or uh, you know parking your car a little bit farther away so you have to walk a little bit if you, if you walk then you may you may actually take the longer route instead of the shortcut uh, stuff like that can really add up and help you increase your need another example is taking public transportation instead of um, driving or even taking an uber or a cab because for that you know let's say you take the bus or the train you're gonna have to walk a little bit and the fifth way is to actually do those physical activities that you need to do such as your household chores and things like that you see the problem is like unlike our ancestors who were always very physically active because they were they had to walk everywhere pretty much the, the jobs that they did required a lot of manual labor they're working out in the farms uh, we don't have to do that anymore so our need has gone down and how much we eat has gone up so you see how that imbalance has is causing like such massive increases in the obesity rates in any developing country where the need has gone down and the amount of calories we eat has gone up so you know there's many activities that you need to do on a regular basis such as um, washing your clothes uh, cooking cleaning your home and oftentimes we tend to avoid these activities especially if we have the luxury to do so so we either get other people to do it for 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 ourselves or we get help to do it but if you if you can do these things yourself and that too regularly then that's actually going to help you increase your need as well and overall you're going to be more physically active and you're going to end up burning a lot more calories so what i want to say is that when you try to lose weight then your need is the first thing that actually goes down without you even realizing it and uh, even things such as how fast you walk actually goes down and they've done studies on this so i highly encourage you to keep track of your need levels don't be lazy and i know it's your body fighting back against you when it comes to losing weight but you gotta stay more conscious about it and ultimately i know that you can get over it so i hope this was informative make sure to watch another video that i'm gonna post right here and until then stay strong